Disclaimer. This video is part of a playthrough of the game Hello Charlotte Heaven's Gate. Because the game doesn't have audio, all the sound effects, BGMs, ambient sounds and so on are from different sources. All the original sources of each audio effect is linked in the description. Vincent Fennell is watching a small trail of ants go by. His gaze is remaining disinterested. Approach him out of curiosity. Oh, we dance. That's rare. Hi, Charles. They're so small. That's good. Like Sariaki. Look. Gets up from his knees and steps closer to the entrail. Also. Is it really just me? Well, no, no. There's no music at all. I can barely contain my excitement for the first day of school. Vincent goes to a different one, but it doesn't matter. I didn't like him much anyway. In middle school, we see each other again. Vincent looks more frail than I remember him being. Henrietta? Yes? Give me your hand. Hmm? I place a candy in it. Here, good work today. Past. Henry's past? Mother never tells me anything about her past. Or father, and I never ask. It's something we never talk about. All I can do is listen to her occasionally cry at night and keep quiet about it in the morning. She's holding up well, but I can't help but worry that one day she might trip and fall and never get up. The thought makes my hand itch, and I spend ten minutes in the bathroom trying to wash it off. I want to grow up and become someone she can depend on. Interlude. It's quiet in the mind library. Oh. I'm hunched over a language workbook, trying to fill in the blanks, but all the letters come out jumbled. I write them over and over again, until the pages are filled with illegible scribbles. Ray, Fi, picks up, picks over my shoulders, like nothing's wrong. Doing someone's homework again, Miss Fibble Shy. You do know that it's not your obligation to do it, don't you? It's for a friend. Ah, so that's why you couldn't turn them down. Because they said you're friends. Was it wrong to believe them, Fi? No, of course not. Miss Wilfshire is a very earnest girl after all. Too gullible for her own good. Huh? You'll see what your so-called friend used was a keyword. A password that doesn't mean anything. You heard it, and immediately thought of the meaning you had for it. You may have thought the other person meant, I want to help and understand you. But in reality they meant, I want to use you for my own needs. Sure, they could have been honest with you. But would you be doing this for them if you knew the truth? Right. But that doesn't make them evil per se. If they were the main character, I'm sure the viewers would understand their way of thinking. I runs his fingers finger over a messed up sentence and stops at the period mark. The true evil lies in muddled words, Miss Wilshire. Remember that. I absent mindedly look at the ruined workbook. Still, if I don't do as they say, I'll be left alone. That is all I'm good for anyway. I leaned his head on me, but I have no strength left to shove him away. You know, that's not true, Miss Wilshire. You just want someone to make you feel better about yourself. Even if it's someone you despise. But don't worry. I know... Oh. Okay. I know all the words you want to hear. You might feel like you're never doing enough. But in reality, you're always doing your best, aren't you? School trip. 
during the first year of high school, we go on a school trip. I don't have anyone to make promises about sitting together with, so right now I'm left with three choices. A. Sitting with the teacher. B. Sitting with one of the class bullies. C. Approaching Mr. Fennel, who happened to have a seat opening near him. I'm gonna save. I decided that the latter is the lesser evil. Mind if I sit here? Not at all. Thanks. Oh, now that I think of it, it's the front seat. I shouldn't be taking it. You can just change with someone if they get car sick. I for one can't sit in the bag. I always get dizzy. Sucks to be you. Vincent loves the rally. His laughter doesn't reach his eyes. Crap. I just messed up my second informal conversation with him. By the time I gather myself again, Vincent's long since asleep. His head is bumping against the bus window in small intervals. Well, I bring out my MP3 player, but minutes later everyone decides to watch an action movie. The loud sound doesn't seem to bother Vincent, who's sleeping with earplugs. Oh, I should have brought some too. In the end, I sit alone watching the movie and lose track of time. By the time we arrive at the hotel, it's past midnight. I get a room with three guys who don't mind me ditching them during this night. Success! At best, they'll get drunk and play cards in someone's sales room. Until sunrise, and at worst one, of them bought drugs. Maybe both. <laughs> so fish. We are... Uh, okay, maybe they've seen it. That's even worse to think. We get up the stairs and lock our room. It has a, ba a bed and a shower, so it's perfect. Mm. My classmates leave the room as soon as they finish unpacking. As expected, they don't bother inviting me anywhere. That they knew. No, I hate having fun. I spent half of the night sketching ideas for comics I might draw someday. All of them feel like I've seen them before. In the morning, I emit the light of freshness. I like being up early. Mm. The hotel dining room is dead silent, like a cemetery. All of my classmates, only some girls and Vincent are present. I decide to drop into the seat near him. Morning. Good morning. I didn't see you last night. I was getting my beauty sleep. Did you party with everyone? Of course. I have to admit. I have a hard time imagining you drinking. Why? I have a higher alcohol tolerance. Oh. Unlike many. Ah, uh, don't remind me. Are we at a school? Are we now at a school? Or a oh, oh, college? Or high, high school? High school or college? Mo mo probably college. Probably college. I woke up to sounds of someone puking in the toilet near next door. Uh, unpleasant, isn't it? My face says it all. Still, the image of Vincent downing alcohol like a glass of juice seems really funny to me, so I can't help but laugh at all. Vincent gives me a questioning look, so I quickly try to change the topic before he asks anything. When I drink, I just become sleepy. Sleepy. Boring, right? Huh, is that so? I thought you'd be the type to talk a lot. Nah, if anything, I shut up for good. Then, fall asleep. I think I'm the type people would call an ambulance for, because they drunkenly think I died of lethal ethanol intake. You sound like you speak from experience. Well... The trip itself is nothing special. Our museums never interested me as much. Doing one of their excursions, Henrietta gets lost and I volunteer to look for her. Thankfully I spot her at a statue near the museum with a dead phone. Henrietta doesn't let go of my shirt until we get back to the group. The night at the hotel on our way back doesn't go as smoothly as the first one. This time I have to share a room with a guy who doesn't mind other people seeing him make out with his girlfriend right in the room. I do, so I grab my jacket and make my escape. It's already past car for you. Probably not the best idea to spend the night on the hotel stairs, but whatever. 
Just as I start to doze up, someone shakes my shoulder. Hello. Hey there. Catch a cold if you sleep here. Huh? It's Vincent. Ah, thanks. I didn't mind to fall asleep. Why are you out at this hour? Just wanted to get some fresh air. I do enjoy night walks. Mm. The sounds nice, I think. We're not allowed to leave the rooms at night, you know. Then may I ask you why you're here? Uh, I guess I'm not a fan of voyeurism. Voyeurism? Huh? No, that's not bad. Forget it. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm guessing there are problems with your roommate. Yeah, that's a pleasant way to put it. I could use less pretty words, but I'll leave a bad taste in my mouth. I'll leave them bottom. Vincent looks at the nice guy. It's nice here. So quiet. I don't have to wake up to shouting. I don't know what to say to that. So I just pick at my skin. Sorry, I said too much. No, that's fine. Beautiful, awful. None of these seem to fit. I'm not someone who should comment. We sit in silence for some time. That being said, do you plan to return to your room? Nah, I'll wait it out a bit more. I see. Well, good night then. Good night. Thanks for keeping me company. It's my pleasure. Half an hour later, I return to my room, only to find my classmates sleeping soundly. This a-hole. I fall asleep thinking that it would be nice to go somewhere with my class again. Passwords. One incoming message from Vincent. Would you mind joining me for lunch? Sure, just gonna grab something to eat. Is it the usual place? Yes, it is. I'll be going ahead then. Vincent likes to eat outside. Mm. It's more quiet here, he says. After that class trip, we started hanging out more often. Oh, like back then? Sometimes he invites me for lunch. Like today. Don't you think the education system is flawed? Okay, we got that right. Okay, thank you. Vincent brings a hand to his chin, thoughtful. Depends on what you define as a flaw. If the main objective of education is discipline, then it's, it is essential to have a hierarchy. Huh. I'm rather thinking about the things we learn. Take today's test, for example. Do you actually know what the entropy of isolated systems never decreases mean? Can you explain it? No, not really. I just learned the material needed to answer the questions. I mean, for example, one good thing that could be good to learn is taxes. How to do taxes? How to do the state tax? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, for real. What? I mean, yeah, cool. I know what what the power of that the might to might to conjure is the power of or, or powerhouse of the cell. Yes, thank you. But how the fish do I file form eight? 10-25x If it's for some reason the, the name of really a name of a form then I then please educate me what the, what what happens if you fill out this form <laughs> it's something good is it, does it have to do the taxes or is it something completely dumb <laughs> Which is then also the question what is considered really dumb. Hmm. Questions. E? You only learned the answer the teacher wanted to see. Not only will you forget his knowledge, but you'll have no clue what you were writing about. We're only learning keywords that we don't know the meaning of and don't gain any particular practical knowledge. Okay, I understand where you're coming from. If you can't find use for theoretical knowledge then it's meaningless right However, I wouldn't use this statement as an excuse to slack off or accuse people of using bad teaching methods for that matter right I just wanted you to hear me out on this if given the opportunity I'd like to change something myself 
It'd be ridiculous to tell others how to do their work. I'm not if you understand. I think it's not just the education system that uses keywords though. Words that carry no meaning let out speech in everyday life. Then, mass media is just entirely made out of them. It's just, tem it's just template phrases that are guaranteed to cause a reaction. While the hidden objective may be entirely driven. Yeah, like articles bashing local art exhibit exhibitations are actually written to promote them. Okay, well, I think the break will end soon. Still haven't finished your food. <laughs> Don't worry about me. We hurriedly finish our mother's lunch and run to class. Puberty. Don't back to puberty. Oh, this, or is it in there somehow? Um, the older we get, the more disturbed and obnoxious everyone becomes. <sighs> yeah! Trying to connect clumsy erratically. Which I understand so to some degree, but I've always been fine in my own company. Also Vincent's, but he can be tiring too. Sometimes he starts ranting on subjects I don't understand, which gets tedious. Like hell, do I give a damn about politics? Same here. Go back to your containment board, for God's sake. And yet there isn't a saint either. Am I actually masochistic for enjoying being badmouthed by her? I mean, not really, but it could be. At least she has the same horrible taste in anime. Eh? Also, what? Oh, you absolutely have to consult me on dating sims. <laughs> you have to consult me on dating sims. Well, did you know we're actually considered in one? Oh, really? Yes. However, this is also a visual novel, which is not really a dating sim, so... It's dead. We could make a fortune of this. Shop either. I won't sell. Also, nice. Here, at last. At least. But... And don't talk so loudly. The other gods will hear. It's your fault for trying to seem... Something you're not... So how was it? You and me... Indulgent circle? No, I've never written a finished story in my life. Just copy the popular tropes. Everyone only wants to things they're used to. I don't like that you're looking at me directly, my boy! And luckily I'm not a writer to complete it myself. Technically. I mean... I shut up. Just go away, either. You're a bother. Go pester someone else. Talking to Miss Warhol always lifts up my wound. Have you heard of Heaven's Gate? Uh, you, you mean the visual novel that I'm currently playing? Yes. They're an organization that preaches that our world is controlled by alien puppeteers from another world. Hold the fish up! I just noticed. Heaven's Gate. There was a cult called Heaven's Gate. Where? Okay, this is kind of <laughs> pushed up, right? Does that mean that their world is more real than ours, or maybe even less? Um, hmm. But even is real these days. Do you think we could be saved if we refused to be actors on the stage? Maybe we should leave it all together. One incoming message from Charles. What's up with the emergence of the web cults lately? I mean, Heaven's Gate. It is Heaven's. <laughs> Actually, I helped copyright the contents for the set. What? Uh, what? Really? Of course. Any kind of content has carried us. This one was meant as a prank, though. You don't actually believe that we are puppets on strings, do you? Should I look at a specific puppet? It looks like Winston and Charles. Or this female? Probably. Probably, maybe. Don't know, really. The text you wrote was awfully convincing, though. 
I'm honored. Why haven't skate though? We wanted it to seem big, des despite it being a prank. Does it sound like something promising? Yeah, it sounds pretentious as fish. It doesn't mean anything, really. Just like Heavenly Kingdom doesn't exist. It's an empty promise of virtue. Huh. Still, isn't it uh, kind of dangerous? People might believe you guys for real. That would be silly, don't you think? Technically, yeah, practically, no. Interlude. Rationality. Mr. Honecker. Oh, hi, Bennett. Actually, you're like... I think she like that. Do you think I'd act more rational if I killed my remaining emotions? I don't believe we could be rational without feelings. Also, interesting, interesting. Why also does it look like in the background like there was somebody murdered? From where did you get those that picture? <laughs> Is also the question here. Second. Which is actually more a uh, fun fact here. Did you know that uh, that this good boy Felix was planned as a bunny boy? Just a little side note that I learned while passing to the Hello Charlotte Vicky. Patients with prefrontal cortex brain damage cannot experience emotions. To them, any decision seems as good as the other. For example, when I think of killing someone I care about, I'm overwhelmed with horror. Understandable. Because without saying that, I, I'd never do it on a whim. Thus feelings are essential for rational thinking. Soap inhibits the prefrontal cortex function as a side effect, right? I've been saying it all the time, but consuming it isn't doing you any good. Oh no, also another fun fact that I also learned while while going through the fandom wiki. It seems that if you if you give Felix the bottle of soap that you get in the first episode, he would say, hmm, interesting, but not so bad as the of the Clorox that I drink with Bennett. He drank Or was it the or did he say bleach? I don't remember correctly. But I know he said something about Clorox or bleach. So, yeah. Drinking something, yeah, it'd be dangerous. Drinking, drinking bleach. How the fish are you still alive? Okay, it makes sense because it, the, because this the whole world is, is just weird. So, uh, you lose the ability to distinguish the weight of one decision from another. And that means... That means killing me and eating cookies for breakfast will be morally equal to you. Huh. Hmm. My point is, killing your emotions will only worsen your overall mental state. It's okay to care, Bennett. Bennett croaks out the laugh. 17. Trust. 